The international security landscape is changing. Nations are increasingly aware of the shifting dynamics and the need to adapt to new threats and opportunities. This awareness is driving a renewed focus on military innovation and technological advancement. A new generation of weapons technologies is emerging, promising to redefine the nature of warfare. These advancements are not just incremental improvements but represent a significant leap forward in military capabilities. Among the most significant advancements are hypersonic missiles. These cutting-edge weapons are designed to travel at speeds exceeding five times the speed of sound, making them incredibly fast and difficult to counter. These weapons travel at incredible speeds. They are highly maneuverable, capable of evading traditional missile defense systems with ease. This combination of speed and agility makes them a formidable addition to any nation's arsenal. Hypersonic missiles have the potential to reshape the balance of power on a global scale. Their deployment could alter strategic calculations and force nations to rethink their defense postures. The United States is investing heavily in this technology. Recognizing the strategic importance of hypersonic weapons, the U.S. is pouring resources into research and development to ensure it remains at the forefront of this technological race. It seeks to keep pace with rivals like China and Russia. Both nations have made significant strides in hypersonic technology, prompting the U.S. to accelerate its own efforts to avoid falling behind. The U.S. has achieved a series of milestones in hypersonic missile development. These achievements are the result of years of dedicated research and collaboration among military and scientific communities. This essay will explore this critical area of military technology. We will delve into the specifics of hypersonic missile development, examining the technological breakthroughs and the strategic implications of these advancements. The development of hypersonic missiles marks a turning point in military history. It represents a shift from traditional missile technology to a new era of high-speed, highly maneuverable weapons. These weapons represent a significant leap in capability. They offer unprecedented speed and precision, making them a game-changer in modern warfare. Their speed and maneuverability make them incredibly difficult to intercept. Traditional missile defense systems are often ill-equipped to handle the rapid and unpredictable movements of hypersonic missiles. This poses a major challenge for traditional defense systems. Nations must now invest in new technologies and strategies to counter the threat posed by hypersonic weapons. Nations around the world are now racing to develop their own hypersonic capabilities. This global competition is driving rapid advancements in missile technology and reshaping the strategic landscape. The U.S. is acutely aware of the need to remain at the forefront of this technological revolution. The stakes are high, and the consequences of falling behind could be severe. Failure to keep pace could have profound implications for national security. The ability to deter and defend against potential adversaries hinges on maintaining a technological edge. The successful development and deployment of hypersonic missiles are therefore paramount to U.S. strategic interests. These weapons will play a crucial role in ensuring the nation's security and maintaining its strategic advantage. The emergence of hypersonic weapons signals the start of a new arms race. This race is characterized by rapid technological advancements and intense competition among the world's leading military powers. It is one with potentially global consequences. The proliferation of hypersonic technology could lead to increased tensions and instability as nations seek to gain an edge over their rivals. This essay will delve into the details of this new era of military technology. We will explore the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead and the implications for global security. It will highlight the key challenges and opportunities that lie ahead for the United States. As we navigate this new arms race, the decisions made today will shape the future of global security. Hypersonic missiles represent a significant advancement in missile technology. They are categorized by their remarkable speed. These missiles travel at Mach 5 or higher. This translates to at least five times the speed of sound. This incredible velocity sets them apart from traditional ballistic and cruise missiles. What makes hypersonic missiles truly formidable is their maneuverability. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles which follow a predictable parabolic trajectory, hypersonic missiles can maneuver, they can change course during flight, this makes them extremely difficult to intercept, they can evade traditional air defense systems. Hypersonic missiles are broadly categorized into two types, hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic cruise missiles, HCMs. HGVs are launched from a rocket, they then glide to their target at hypersonic speeds. HCMs on the other hand are powered by high-speed engines throughout their flight. They maintain a constant altitude. The development of hypersonic missiles requires overcoming significant technological hurdles. These include extreme heat, aerodynamic stability, and guidance system challenges. The materials used in the construction of these missiles must be able to withstand the intense heat generated by atmospheric friction at hypersonic speeds. 
Maintaining stability and control during high-speed flight requires advanced aerodynamic design and control systems. Finally, guiding hypersonic missiles to their targets with pinpoint accuracy demands sophisticated navigation and targeting technologies. In December 2024, the United States achieved a major milestone in its pursuit of hypersonic weapons technology. This achievement was the result of years of dedicated research, development, and rigorous testing by some of the brightest minds in the field. The U.S. Army and Navy successfully conducted a joint test, showcasing the power of inter-service collaboration of a common hypersonic glide body, CHGB. This test was a critical step in validating the technology and ensuring its readiness for future deployment. This test took place at Cape Canaveral, a site known for its historical significance in space and missile testing. It marked a significant step forward for the U.S. hypersonic missile program, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in missile technology. This test was the first live-fire test for the Army's long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, a system designed to provide unprecedented speed and precision. This system is also known as Dark Eagle, a name that signifies its stealth and power. The test was also the second successful end-to-end -end test of the All Up Round, AUR, in 2024, further proving the reliability and effectiveness of the system. The success of this test demonstrated the maturity of the U.S. hypersonic program, indicating that the technology is nearing operational readiness. It also validated the joint development approach taken by the Army and Navy highlighting the benefits of collaborative efforts in achieving technological advancements. The December 2024 test was not merely a technological achievement, it was a strategic signal. It was a strategic signal to the world, demonstrating the U.S.'s commitment to maintaining its technological edge. It signaled to the world the U.S. commitment to developing and fielding hypersonic weapons, showcasing its readiness to deploy these advanced systems. This test served as a clear message to potential adversaries, underscoring the U.S.'s determination to maintain its military superiority. The U.S. is determined to maintain its military edge in this critical technological domain, ensuring that it remains at the forefront of missile technology. The success of this test was the culmination of years of research, development, and testing, involving countless hours of work by dedicated scientists and engineers. It represents a triumph of American engineering and innovation, showcasing the nation's ability to push the boundaries of technology. The test also highlighted the importance of collaboration between the armed services, demonstrating how joint efforts can lead to significant advancements. Joint development efforts like this are essential for maximizing resources and accelerating the fielding of critical capabilities, ensuring that the U.S. military remains at the cutting edge of technology. Section 4. The Common Hypersonic Glide Body, a Cornerstone of U.S. Strategy the Common Hypersonic Glide Body, or CHGB, is a key element of the U.S. hypersonic missile program. This versatile glide vehicle forms the basis for both the Army's long-range hypersonic weapon and the Navy's conventional prompt strike system. The CHGB is designed to be launched atop existing missile systems, which allows for greater flexibility and cost-effectiveness. The CHGB is a testament to the benefits of inter-service collaboration. By pooling their resources and expertise, the Army and Navy have been able to develop a common hypersonic glide vehicle that meets the unique requirements of both services. This joint approach has not only saved time and money but has also fostered greater interoperability between the Army and Navy. The CHGB's versatility extends beyond its ability to be launched from different platforms. It is also capable of carrying a variety of payloads, including conventional and potentially non-kinetic warheads. This flexibility makes it a valuable asset for a wide range of missions. The development and successful testing of the CHGB represent a major step forward for the U.S. hypersonic missile program. It is a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of American scientists and engineers. The CHGB will undoubtedly play a pivotal role in shaping the future of U.S. military capabilities. Section 5. Strength and Unity, the Army-Navy Collaboration on Hypersonic Weapons The development of hypersonic weapons is a complex and challenging undertaking. These advanced systems are designed to travel at speeds greater than five times the speed of sound, making them incredibly difficult to detect and intercept. The technology behind hypersonic weapons involves cutting-edge materials, propulsion systems, and guidance mechanisms, all of which require extensive research and development. It requires significant resources, expertise, and coordination. The collaboration between the Army and Navy brings together a diverse array of skills and knowledge from aerospace engineering to advanced materials science. This multidisciplinary approach is essential for overcoming the technical challenges associated with hypersonic flight. 
Recognizing the importance of collaboration, the U.S. Army and Navy have joined forces to develop and field hypersonic missile systems. This partnership is not just about sharing resources, it's about combining the unique strengths and capabilities of each service to achieve a common goal. This partnership leverages the strengths of each service and streamlines the development process. The Army brings its expertise in ground-based systems and long-range strike capabilities, while the Navy contributes its experience with sea-based platforms and rapid deployment. The Army and Navy have distinct but complementary requirements for hypersonic weapons. Each service has its own operational needs and strategic objectives, which drive the design and development of their respective systems. The Army seeks a long-range, ground-launch system capable of striking targets deep within enemy territory. This capability is crucial for maintaining a strategic advantage and deterring potential adversaries. The Navy, on the other hand, requires a sea launch system that can be deployed on its surface ships and submarines. This flexibility allows the Navy to project power across the globe and respond quickly to emerging threats. By working together, the two services have been able to develop a common hypersonic glide body that can be adapted to meet these diverse needs. This shared technology forms the backbone of both the Army's and Navy's hypersonic weapon systems. This collaborative approach has yielded significant benefits. The combined efforts have accelerated the development timeline, allowing for faster deployment of these critical systems. Sharing resources and expertise has reduced development costs and timelines. By pooling their knowledge and capabilities, the Army and Navy have been able to achieve more together than they could individually. Joint testing has allowed the Army and Navy to learn from each other's experiences and accelerate the maturation of hypersonic technology. This iterative process of testing and refinement is crucial for ensuring the reliability and effectiveness of these advanced weapons. Furthermore, the development of common components, such as the CHGB, simplifies logistics and maintenance. Standardizing parts across both services reduces complexity and ensures that support and repair can be more efficiently managed. The Army-Navy partnership on hypersonic weapons is a model for inter-service collaboration. It demonstrates how different branches of the military can work together to achieve shared objectives and enhance national security. It underscores the importance of breaking down silos and working together to address shared challenges. This spirit of cooperation is essential for tackling the complex and evolving threats of the modern world. This collaborative spirit will be essential as the U.S. continues to develop and field advanced hypersonic systems in the years to come. The lessons learned from this partnership will inform future projects and ensure that the U.S. remains at the forefront of hypersonic technology.